How's it going everyone? Day three has concluded and this practice was a little bit different from the previous practices. The first two were pretty much full speed open to the media and the third one was not open to the media and was actually at half speed and ran just under an hour and a half. So not the typical practice that we saw in the first two. Change of place and trying to get some of the routines down. So for this practice, Rashawn Gary, Eric Stokes, once again, pup list, not going to participate. Then on the non-football injury list, still Grant DeBose for the third day straight with that back injury and Dontavian Wicks with the concussion, so he's still out. And that makes sense. That's probably going to take at least a week before he can come back if he clears that fast. Now returning was David Bakhtiari. Matt LaFleur said during this practice and the next practice he was going to return and practice for probably the majority of it, so it's not too shocking to see him back. So for the first team rotation, and this is kind of to give us an idea of maybe what the coaches are looking at or who's going to get a shot or a crack at the first lineup and who's ahead of who on the depth chart. So on the offensive side, QB, Jordan Love, obvious. Running backs, Aaron Jones, A.J. Dillon, Patrick Taylor, and Lou Nichols the third, all got reps with the first team. So it was actually interesting to see Lou Nichols get some reps. So it's going to be interesting if the Packers are going to this year attempt or want to actually hold three or four running backs because last year we only had two which was a little shocking we thought we'd have three but we had two for the wide receiver position christian watson and romeo dobbs are the obvious two Jaden reed at the slot he did play slot on the second day of training camp and that continued for this rotation samari Torre and malik heath also got cracks with the first team lineup and Bo Melton was actually a little bit absent. And that's going to be interesting to see because we did have two receivers that were out in Dontavian Wicks and Grant DeBose, both rookies, and he couldn't crack maybe six or he couldn't get over Malik Heath. Samari Torre is not too shocking, nor is Jaden Reed, but he didn't crack the first team. So it kind of doesn't bode well for him, in my opinion. And depending on how many receivers we may want to keep, because if we go for three running backs, Last year, we had seven wide receivers, and I don't see us doing that. This year, we could keep it to six. I don't know. It's a very crowded wide receiver room, and Bo Melton doesn't look like he's probably going to make the roster at this point, and this also doesn't really bode well for him at this current time. Then with the tight ends, Luke Musgrave, he's pretty much looks like he's going to be the starting tight end for us this year. He's been the starting tight end for all three practices now so he looks like he's going to be the guy and he's going to run away with this then you have Josiah DeGuara and Tyler Davis a little shocking to see Tyler Davis in there getting reps with the first and not Tucker Craft so Tucker Craft apparently has a bit to do and the coaches don't feel comfortable in putting him into the starting lineup so interesting to see at least the fact that he couldn't get over Tyler Davis so something to keep an eye out Nothing too concerning. He's a rookie. Tight end position is very hard to learn as a rookie, but something to keep an eye on, especially with, well, I mean, Tyler Davis, he does have special teams, and we've been making a very big focus on special teams. So Tyler Davis probably is going to make it, honestly, because of that. For the offensive line, we had David Bakhtiari, Elton Jenkins, Josh Myers, John Runyon Jr., and then Josh Nyman and Zach Tom were both rotating at the left tackle and right tackle position, depending on when Bakhtiari was getting subbed out. So Zach Tom still looks like he has a firm hold at the right tackle position, but Nyman did get some reps at right tackle and rotated with Zach Tom. And when Bakhtiari went out, they rotated over there as well with one of them playing left tackle and the other playing right tackle. Now, interesting to see Royce Newman was also getting some reps with the first team. I didn't fully expect that, but obviously that shows that he is over Sean Ryan currently on the depth chart and they feel more comfortable for him. But then again, Sean Ryan didn't lose an entire season last year. So as of right now, Royce Newman looks to be have an edge over Sean Ryan. On to the defensive side of the ball for the defensive line. We had Kenny Clark, Devontae White, and TJ Slayton. Not shocking, but Colby Wooden had some reps with the first team, which is actually very nice to see. And we'll see how his camp continues to progress and where the coaches feel with him. An outside linebacker, Preston Smith, Justin Hollins, Kingsley Ignobar, and Lucas Van Ness all got reps with the first team. Lucas Van Ness still hasn't had the most reps with the first team with Justin Hollins and Kingsley Ignobar rotating over there on the right side opposite of Preston Smith. But then again with the eventual, hopefully eventual, return of Rashawn Gary and his reevaluation in a few weeks. 
that could just be something to rotate with Rashawn Gary. Because I don't think Rashawn Gary is going to be used 100%, even if he does come back early. Because it's an ACL injury. That takes some time. We saw how it does even with the offensive lineman. It, it takes some time. But then again, Rashawn Gary is an athletic freak. So we'll see. At inside linebacker, we had Devondre Campbell and Quay Walker. Isaiah McDuffie had some reps with the first team. Eric Wilson and, shockingly, honestly, Tariq Carpenter also had a bit of reps with the first team. Didn't think he did enough, or especially since they just moved him to linebacker, that he would garner some first team reps, but he was there in the rotation with the first team. So interesting to see that. Then at corner, Jair Alexander, Rizul Douglas, and Kashawn Nixon, the obvious three. Corey Ballantyne and Shamar Jean Charles also had reps with the first team. But interesting enough, Carrington Valentine has not. And Valentine has had a very great past couple of days where he's been blanketing receivers and not looking like a shutdown corner, but a very, very, very good corner. And it's just two days, no pads or anything. But it's interesting enough, despite how well he's played the last two days, he did not get rotation snaps with the first team. So hopefully Carrington Valentine, once the pads come on, can continue his great camp and show the coaches because sometimes the, the coach, especially my El Flor, is a little slow to, to, you know, to change things up. So hopefully Valentine, he has a very good continuance of his camp with the pads. Moving along towards the safety position, Darnell Savage and Rudy Ford, third day straight, has pretty much had that opposite starting spot of Darnell Savage. And he still looks to be the favorite for this camp thus far. Tarverius Moore and Dallin Levitt also had some snaps with the first team. But interesting enough, Jonathan Owens had no snaps with the first team, which is very interesting, especially since he did start every game with the Houston Texans. And he kind of seemed like he was brought into challenge for the starting spot. But as of right now, he's had no snaps with the first team. So something to keep an eye on there, especially with Rudy Ford thus far. Being very good at camp and having starting reps with Darnell Savage the entirety so far. Lastly, on the special teams, we saw Jaden Reed, Kashawn Nixon, and Samari Torre all returning punts. So we're going to have a punt return battle, it looks like, trying to see which one of these players are going to be best fit for the punt return. The kickoffs, it's going to be Kashawn Nixon, but Jaden Reed has punt return experience from college and was a pretty good punt returner. Kashawn Nixon's Kashawn Nixon. You got to see it. And Samari Tora also has some experience at punt return. So it's going to be interesting how this plays out, especially with Kashawn Nixon having potentially two roles at punt returner, if he wins a job, kick returner, and also slot corner. And then Jaden Reed probably going to be the slot receiver. And if he wins a punt return, then being a punt return as well. So we have a bit of moving pieces here where they could be playing a dual role. And that about wraps up what happened during day three. Like I said, it was a half speed practice. It lasted just under an hour and a half. And it was more of a walkthrough. It was a low intensity practice to try to correct some things that we might have seen with the first two practices and get an idea of how this depth chart is kind of shaping up. But let me know what you think down in the comments. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and as always, go Pack Go!